What can I say? Life is going well. With my mom's condition steadily improving, I finally moved out and into my new apartment. I'm also loving the work I'm doing, and I really can't ask for more until... <clears throat> uh, this is Rex and Alethea. They've just been selected from our recent Hack to Hire recruitment drive. This is Claire, who will be showing you the ropes. Hi. Hi. Chester, I've never mentored anyone before. Well, neither did I until I mentored you and how well you turned out. And I did great. Um, Claire was just saying that she'd like to take you both for coffee to get to know you better. Isn't that right, Claire? Okay, how does this work? Do I start by talking about what it's like to work here, or do I share my past experiences? Whatever it is, though, I've got to grab their attention first. <clears throat> so, shall we put away our phones? Great job, Claire. You've just managed to sound like their mom. So, Alethea, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? What do you want to know? Great. It looks like I have myself an angsty teenage daughter. Maybe tell us how you came to work at DBS. Okay. I guess I'll have to go back to when I was six. Six? That's when I fell in love with chess. I still remember the day my dad introduced the game to me. I always loved a good challenge and was immediately hooked. Checkmate. Not long after, I became the 10 and under national junior champion. But I soon found that chess wasn't challenging enough, so one day I decided to teach myself coding and ended up studying it at uni. I worked for a few different tech companies after I graduated, but I found it difficult to see how the coding I was doing impacted the real world. Then I came across DBS's Hack to Hire recruitment drive. I thought, I get to do what I love and still make a difference in the real world? What's not to like? <laughs> wow. Impressive. And Rex, what about you? Well, where do I begin? My journey to DBS doesn't stretch quite as long. I'm a bit like Bruce Wayne. And I also have a 10-year-old son who genuinely believes he's a superhero. Bruce Wayne, the caped crusader. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so I used to work for another bank. During the day, I'm just an ordinary banker. But when night falls, I turn into my alter ego and play awesome gigs at live music bars all around town. Lately, I've also been diversifying my portfolio and dabbling in stand-up comedy. You can also tune a fish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm also an avid gamer, and I can't wait to build my dream house in the metaverse. I dabble in NFTs, digital art, crypto, esports. Kind of see myself as this digital renaissance man. Wait, I'm sorry, what was the question? The question was, how did you come to work for DBS and you still haven't answered it? Right. Um, so, simply put, DBS is way more tech-savvy and progressive than other banks. I kind of dig that. On that note, I've got another one for you. Why did the Invisible Man turn down all the jobs that he was offered? Why? Because he just couldn't see himself doing them. Pretty good, right? <laughs> you know what? It's so bad, it's kind of good. Really? You want to you go there? I think I just did. You are so good. Hey guys, listen. I have a very important client that I just asked to meet, so why don't you guys just stay and enjoy your coffee, and I will see you when I see you. Uh, well, I can come with you. I'm free this afternoon. Um, no, honestly, it's totally fine. This must be so stressful, being your first day and all. So you guys can just go around the office and meet the rest of the team. Chester showed us around already. Yeah, and besides, I'm really excited to go to a client meeting. I was never allowed to meet clients at my previous job. Really? Shall we? Hey, Viraj. Claire. Thanks so much for meeting me on such short notice. Don't mention it. These are my new colleagues, Alethea and Rex. And this is Viraj, Operations Director at EcoGrow Connect. Please. So, Chester mentioned you're having some cash flow problems? Yeah. As you know, uh, disruptions in logistics have been wreaking havoc on companies all over the world, and we are no different. EcoGrow Connect is an agricultural commodity trading and processing company. They facilitate trade between farmers and corporate customers all over the world. Mm. Naturally, any disruptions in logistics would be detrimental to its business. Precisely. 
And not only do we work with farmers and buyers, we also have to coordinate with truckers, shippers, insurance companies and ports. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of paperwork. Oh, you bet. Shippers and farmers need to get paid, while insurance companies want verification, and then you guys can't process payments without confirmation. And on top of all of that, we have to track and trace the shipment every step of the way. So how can we help? The nature of our business is such that payments and financial transactions are tied to the trade life cycle. And with all the disruptions, we're facing a cash crunch, and we'll need extra financing to keep the company afloat. I'm sure we can find you a solution. Are we? Yes, I'm sure we can. Uh, let us have a think, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, Claire. Well, EcoGrow's underlying business is sound. I mean, demand is stronger than ever. There's no issues with supplies. So really, the problem is their convoluted and time-consuming process. And when you add supply chain disruptions that continually push the process back into the next trade cycle. Yeah, that's when a massive cash crunch is created. All right, listen, I'm not going to rule out a working capital loan in the short term. That should give us some time to develop a more sustainable solution. On that note, Chester... What? Come on, spill it. Fine, here it is. Either I get my old team back or I quit. Can I just go back to working with Rhea and Hendra? We work so well together, you know? Claire, it's only been a few days. Yeah, but you know, when you know, you know. You know? Claire, do you remember your interview with me seven years ago? You looking for someone? Yeah, someone by the name of Chester Teo. And uh, what do you want with him? I'm supposed to meet him here for a job interview, but I heard he's pretty old school, so I hope he's not mad that I'm 30 minutes late. Old school, huh? Yeah, and apparently he wears these stupid suspenders. I mean, who wears suspenders nowadays? Now, I wouldn't exactly say that you and I clicked either. Claire, I get it. All right, you have a team that you click with and you don't want things to change. But listen, your knowledge and your experience will mean the world to Rex and Alethea. Now, they've been chosen because we see potential. And we need leaders like you who can bring out the best in them. All right? Okay, I'll try. I have a feeling I'll be getting one of Chester's famous idioms any time now. Oh, Claire, channel your inner mama bear. Your cubs need you. Right on cue. Inner mama bear? That's pretty good. Wait a second, this is not my bathroom. Calm down, breathe. I do have a life. Yes, to revenge living. To revenge living. <laughs> so, so about, about last, last night. night. <laughs> Sorry. He called Glon tonight. Lilla. Sorry. Hi, my name is Andrew Marco and I play Rex. I'm Wish and I play Alethea. Have you guys ever wondered what a hackathon really looks like? Well, wonder no more and check out the latest Behind the Spark episode to find out how DBS hires differently. Dif dif different, 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 differently. Differently. I'll, but, I'll, I mean, I'll do it.